Hey friends, it's Teresa from True Life I'm a Teacher and today we are talking about how to um, post assignments and I'm going to be sharing what I'm doing for my second graders, which is I am posting sort of a daily checklist that has everything that I would like them to accomplish that particular day. Um, and I want to show you how I make that, where I'm posting it, and how my students are accessing it. So this is um, what you're seeing now on your screen is actually the same thing that my students would see once these are not drafted. Currently, um, our home learning, distance learning, virtual learning, whatever you want to call it, is starting on March 30th, which is why you see... Monday, March 30th here as our start date. This is actually coming up. We're coming up on our spring break. Tomorrow starts our spring break. Um, so what I have decided to do is that I am posting a daily checklist that looks a little something like this. Um, I chose to put all of our subjects in the order that we would do them actually in our classroom if we were in our classroom on any given day. Think of this checklist sort of like an agenda. This is just a checklist that has all of the tasks for the day in it. Um, and this is essentially, this is their agenda, okay? So just like in the classroom, that does not mean that everything that gets posted here is a graded assignment. Obviously, that's not how we teach. Um, students need opportunities to practice before things are graded or assessed. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing with those things after this. So here, this is kind of, this is the agenda for the day. This is made in, um, this is a Google Doc, which if you go to your um, if you type in drive.google, um, all of the things that are in your Google Drive, think of this as like your one big uh, folder. And then within here, everything that's in this, um, that's in your folder will show up here. Um, if you just want to go to your docs, you can type in docs.google.com. And again, here... Um, you do that you'll see all of your documents you can change the view if you so choose um, I like drive just because that way I'm seeing everything not just documents um, anyway so here is the checklist you obviously um, this actually is accessible to you. I have posted a link on my Instagram, it's saved in my highlights. When you open this, you are going to want to choose file and then make a copy. And then you're going to save this in your own drive. You can choose to save it on your computer, but I, I mean, personal preference, I don't choose to do that. Um, but you can save it in your drive. If you click on that, you actually, you'll see all of your folders within your drive. Um, you can create, if you're in your drive, you can create a new folder. We could call this distance learning if we wanted. And you could put your copy of that in there. Then once you've made, once you click OK, it's going to load here. And so then I would just highlight all of that. I would delete it because you don't need your students to see any of that. Um, and then you can change this to be whatever your name is. Change the date here. We're starting our morning with a sort of like morning meeting chat with the teacher on Google Meet each morning at 9. You can leave that or take it off or, I mean, whatever whatever works for you. And then here's where you can start organizing all of your information. Um, keep in mind the age of the students that you're teaching. Um, I teach second graders. I don't want this to be super, super crazy text heavy. 
I wouldn't do that in the classroom, so I'm not going to do that when they're at home. Then when you have this all finished and you are ready to actually post it, just like I have here, um, you, I've created a topic called Daily Checklist. Mine in my, um, this is actually my students, what their Google Classroom. I have a morning meeting category, which is where you, they'll find their daily agendas. I'm going to click on create. I um, have created this as material. This is not an assignment. It's I'm not asking them a question. It's not a quiz. This is simply material. And so here, this is where I organized mine by date. So you could type in Sunday, March. I don't know what it is today. Today is the 22nd. If you wanted a description, you could. I've left the descriptions blank. You have the option here to add directly from your Google Drive. And you will see, you'll find your daily checklist, which you're going to, excuse me, you're going to copy and paste that daily checklist. I have the hiccups. Um, you're going to copy and paste that daily checklist for each day. And so in your Google Drive um, or in your documents, wherever, um, you can rename this and you could say this is Sunday the 22nd. Okay. Um, you can only copy it once you're in it. So if you're here, this is where you would file, make a copy, okay? Um, so let's go back here. Um, I'm gonna choose this one. I'm gonna click the blue, I think it says upload. My picture is covering it at the moment. You can also just double click it. Um, and so there it will pop up. Now, if you haven't created anything, you also have the option of creating um, a document right from that um, material, but it's going to be a blank document. So another option that you have is that you could just select everything, copy, there it is, and paste it. That's another option that you have to make that work for you. Um, and that it will automatically save right in there your most recent work. So a couple of different options that you have. When um, you're ready to post this, you can choose, I'm going to put it in daily checklist here. You can choose to post it. You can also choose to save it as a draft. You can even schedule it. I chose not to schedule anything because things were changing so quickly for us. And at the time that I made my checklists, we weren't 100% sure if we were going to be out of school at this point. So I didn't want to schedule it. We do know now that we are out of school and so I could schedule these. Um, but I'm not going to. <laughs> um, but you can save it as a draft. And so there it will show up as a draft. And when you are ready to make it live, you can either click on it and edit here, or I love these three buttons. Click post, post. They're going to see that material not only in their stream, depending on your settings, but most definitely it's going to be in their classwork. Again, if I decide, oh no, I don't want my students to be able to see it, delete it, edit it, I can delete it if I want, and it's gone. Now, that does not mean that it has been deleted out of my Google Documents. It just means that that material has been um, deleted. For graded assignments, so remember that the, the daily checklist 
um, which again, this is what my students are actually going to see and have access to. The daily checklist is like their agenda. This is not material that I am, I'm not grading the daily checklist, so it's not an assignment. If I wanted to create an assignment though, that is something that they would have to turn in. You will notice that the options over here on the right hand side are different. These options were not there when I was just posting material. Um, so if I, let's say this is, um, I don't know, maybe this is a math quiz or something. Um, I have the ability to again, add docs, slides, sheets, drawings, forms. Um, I also have the option to link something. So maybe I'm actually creating a quiz in Kahoot or in, um, or maybe I want them to do like a Khan Academy assignment or something. I might just post the link here for that. I can assign it. I can either say that this is ungraded. So there are some things that I'm not necessarily grading, but I want to see their responses. So for that, I might choose ungraded. You have the option to choose a due date as well as a specific time if you wanted. Um, I'm going to get rid of all of that. If you do want it to be graded, you just double click. Maybe this is 50 points, whatever. If you want this to post, so since this is math, I don't have a math option here, so I can either create a topic right from here and type in math. Um, or remember, I can leave it as no topic. Um, I could assign this. It's going to come, it's going to be right up at the top here because I didn't assign it a topic. Oh man, I just remembered. I want this to be a math topic. So I could create a topic, whoops, create math, and then I can just drop that into the math category. So again, for my daily checklist, think of this at, for me anyway, I'm thinking of this and I'm explaining to my students in terms of their agenda. This is just big picture. Here's what I need to accomplish today. Within that agenda, I can, um, remember it looks like this. I can still put links to thing if there's things, if there's a brain pop video, um, that I want them to watch. I can copy and paste that and put it right here. Um, if I want them to practice for 20 minutes, there's maybe there's a Khan Academy assignment that I want them to complete. I can, I can put that here. You have a Khan Academy, um, assignment and I can put the title of the assignment. Maybe it's fact fluency. I don't know. I'm just making that up. Um, I can put that there if I want. I've created a place for math and for reading. I've created a spot for additional resources and ideas for practice. So this is kind of up to them and their parents. Um, it's their, their choice. Um, if so, since this is an assignment or something that I actually want to see, or maybe let's do, let's do something with reading down here. Maybe for reading, I want them to um, I want them to read for 20 minutes and then complete the reader response assignment. Oops, <laughs> assignment. Okay, so if that's one of those things, then I can come back over here and I'm going to create an assignment. Um, Maybe this is 322 reader response. Okay, so I can say after reading for 20 minutes, tell me the title, author, and characters of the book you read. If you read more than one book, they're gonna say that. Um, choose one book you want to tell me about. Okay. And so this is, um, 
I can then add if I want them, if there's a file, um, some people are using like a reading log. So maybe there's a reading log file that you want to attach. Um, maybe you just want to attach a document that they can fill out. And I'm realizing as I'm doing this that actually I really should have posted this. I want this as a question. Your response. Jeez, I'm having issues today. Read a response. Okay. And so I want this to be a short answer. Um, I don't want the students to be able to reply to one another. And so then I, again, I can adjust all of these things. I can ask it. And this is the one that I sort of messed up on. So, boop, easy peasy, delete. And this is actually the one that um, they're going to be answering. Okay, all of your students will pop up here. Um, if you wanna add a class comment, you can here. Student responses will end up populating here or you can go by student name. Um, so just as kind of an overview, the daily checklist is like their agenda with everything that I would like for them to accomplish that day. Assignments will be assignments that I actually want to see either responses or it's going to be a grade. Those will be posted as individual assignments here, okay? All right, that's a lot of information on this one, but it's probably the biggest, like that's what your students are gonna be using the most. So of course it's gonna take a little bit of playing around with. Remember, you can't break Google Classroom. If you make something and you realize, oh, I don't like that, go back in, delete it, edit it. I'm gonna delete that and it's gone just like that. No harm done. <laughs> you can't mess it up. Um, that's the best way that you can kind of learn all of this is just to sort of play around with it, figure it all out. Hope you find that helpful. Happy teaching.